Rubber releases methane into the atmosphere, a greenhouse gas that accounts for approximately 25% of climate change. As tires wear down, small bits of rubber are left on the roads, which remain there indefinitely and continuously release methane into the atmosphere. In addition, there are currently over 4 billion tires sitting in landfills worldwide, each tire emitting methane as they bake in the sun. Infusing nacre, a naturally occurring material in mollusks and often referred to as the toughest material on earth, into the rubber of vehicle tires would greatly enhance their resistance to abrasions and overall durability. Due to the layered structure of the material and its brick and mortar composition, nacre is extremely resistant to lacerations and very durable. As there will be less debris from rubber tires sitting on the road and less scrapped tires sitting in landfills due to the enhanced durability of these nacre infused tires, the amount of methane being released into the atmosphere will decrease, lessening the global warming from methane emissions. Tire wear on motor vehicles is a thousand times worse than that from car exhaust. This is largely because the methane released by tires has 80 times the atmospheric warming power of carbon dioxide for the first 20 years following its emission into the atmosphere. Major tire producers constantly invest resources into developing new technologies to prolong the life and improve the performance of their tires. Seeing the trends of innovation within the industry affirms the value of the properties we are researching. Our target market is the tire industry, which had a revenue of $22.2 billion last year, and combined, Michelin and Bridgestone allocated $1.4 billion for product R&D. We plan to partner with researchers and universities that are producing this new material to develop a formula that is ideal for introduction into vehicles. We plan to target companies that are looking to produce safer, more durable tires that reduce the chance of blowouts and tire-related accidents, along with extending the life of the tires in general. It is anticipated that our early interests will be companies that have a long history of innovation within the industry. Being a first mover in the NACRI rubber integration space is valuable, and we know major attention will be drawn to our company in the procedures we're going to perfect. I'm Miles Drum. I'm a sophomore here at the University of New Hampshire, majoring in business administration with dual focuses in entrepreneurship and finance. I'm a member of the Shaw Explorers Fellowship Program, and I'm an active member of the Atkins Investment Group. And hey, I'm Nathan Brennan. I'm also a sophomore here at the University of New Hampshire, studying business administration with options in entrepreneurship and management. I'm also a member of the University Honors Program, Ryan's Angel Fund, and the Shaw Explorers. We've been working closely alongside our advisor, Ian Grant, the executive director of the E-Center, as we work on this project and we're excited to further our research and development of NACRI tire infusion technology with the goal of lessening the amount of methane released into the atmosphere from rubber tire weight.